Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Hopefully you're alive after the holidays. So it's time to return back to the markets. It's actually today, as you could see, most markets have opened uh, with some upper direction. As you can see on the euro currency, we have some upper direction. Actually, we said, we talked about this and said that probably in the current circumstances, it makes sense to wait a bit and see what will happen as markets currently is take a look moving back to the top of this range. You're raising mining grubbers that have been formed on a thin market right before the holidays. So despite that we have a few grubbers here, as you can see, direction has been chosen to the upside on intraday charts. But actually, guys, do not pay too much attention to this. This is just first uh, back to life action after the holidays. It means nothing, actually. And we will see what will happen in nearest time. Today, guys, I would like to show you uh, Australian dollar. It's just because Australian dollars... Um, together with the Great British Pound and maybe the Japanese Yen, it shows a bit different type of action compared to the euro currency and other major currencies. And uh, uh, it seems that an Australian dollar we see brighter bearish signs uh, that may be a bit disguised on the euro currency. It's recent performance, recent uh, intruding of the European Central Bank decision with the interest rate cha uh, change. But an Australian dollar there are a few moments exist that will uh, bring a bit stronger foundation for a possible dollar reduction. And since the, actually all these currencies trading against the United States dollar, and we have approximately the same suggestion on the dollar index, it means that despite we do not see on the euro currency the bright patterns or something of that sort, clear patterns, uh, the foundation that we see on Australian dollar, uh, it uh, definitely will make impact on the performance of the euro currency uh, sooner rather than later. So what I'm speaking about, on Australian dollar, if we started from the weekly chart, there are a few important moments exist. First of all, well, actually, this chart is not new. We, we have considered it uh, and, and we're watching it through the year. And uh, first, initially, we talked about the big head and shoulders pattern, if you remember. That was uh, major interesting stuff. But later, when the market shows this action and dollar starting its rally, you can see that Australian dollar has collapsed. So actually, uh, although the hand and shoulders total is not broken yet, but the performance of the right arm here is not uh, bullish. So first of all, because normally, if we would consider the hand and shoulders here, market should complete this ABCD pattern that you could see and stop around major support in harmonic relation to bottom of the left arm. So you can see that OP say BCD completion stands very close to this lows right there and there and it should be at the bottom and actually it has been formed mostly right there the market shows the pullback but then you can see what has happened market has accelerated down so we have the uh, fast CD leg here so acceleration which is bad sign for the hand and shoulders because you you are watching for a bullish reversal pattern and any acceleration on the last part of the pattern is always bad sign on the way down, market has broken for the OP with the acceleration and has broken for the major 618 support area. This is definitely not the bullish type of the performance. And I suspect that this really could be uh, the fake, uh, the breakout actually of the f failure of the hand shuttles pattern. So I'm not excluding the situation where Australian dollar could take it out of this loss because this performance is definitely bearish. Acceleration on the CD leg, breaking for the OP, all the stuff that I have said. Um, now, as you can see, well, there's a breakout and temporal relief to the upside. Market has not completed yet the XOP target. So this target stands incomplete. And uh, if you recall our euro currency chart, we also have uncompleted 90 below the parity level. So the shape of the market is a bit different compared to euro, but uh, targets also have the downstanding targets. 
And this is a very tricky situation for the bulls for investing in Australian dollar right now. Because it's too many things that uh, actually are not good for a bullish position right there. Now, if you'll take a look at the daily chart, you will see that the performance mostly similar to the Great British Pound. Here is we have the upper direction is in, in the way of the uh, dollar index and free drive, something of that sort, three spikes in your currency, very similar direction. Take a look, collapse market is not returned back to the top as every currency did. It mostly shows the same performance as the Great British Pound. It has dropped and stands there. Here we have bearish reversal swing down. Market now stands in the upper pullback. Take a look at the main city stepping in here. And if today we will get the crubber, that might be a great opportunity to consider taking the short position with the possible starting of the downward action. Besides, if you'll take a look at the 4 hour time from chart, the upper action takes the clear shape of the ABCD pattern right there. And uh, take a look, the OP creates perfect agreement for the 6792 FIB level, 618 level. So it will be a great combination, as you could see. So appearing of the potentially appearing of the bearish grubber on the daily and uh, reaching by, by the price, the agreement resistance completion, the ABCD giving us got this triple to sell here, right? Right at the major 618 resistance level. What else? we need to we, we could we could uh, what else uh, we need to get uh, for position taking and i think that australian dollar currently is interesting and it's definitely uh, this situation this trading stuff that we have uh, makes sense to consider so today we probably should do nothing just wait when the market will complete the op and tomorrow we could keep taking an eye on taking take a look at the daily chart and see whether this market will form a grubber uh, what the performance will be around it because currently as you can see, the performance of the ABCD pattern rather harmonic, so we do not see big acceleration. CD leg like even if it's lower than the AB, and this is great. Here's drop was re relatively deep, and in general, well, maybe even you could consider it uh, maybe on follow different charts a bit better. Something like head and shoulders or something, not 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 really perfect shape, but uh, you could recognize some signs of the head and shoulders here, as you could see. So that's what I would like to share you. Uh, but of course, the major purpose of this video is not just uh, the short term setup of the trade taking the short position, although this is also great, but mostly to show you what's happened on the weekly chart and why this uh, some hidden signs of the weakness exist with the acceleration, breaking all the stuff to the downside and completed XOP. All this stuff works against um, against the bulls. Um, and finally, what I just missed to, 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 say, to say here, just take a look here. We also have natural resistance area. So previously it was support. So market tested, tested, broken down, support again. And now it will be the resistance natural monthly significant resistance area. So this is really interesting situation that we stand here. If market will fail to break it up, start dropping, it really might be the action right to the XOP first. But later, I'm not excluded that might be taken out of this loss because in this case, if XOP will be touched, uh, well, the hand shoulders totally will be erased. And uh, usually the failure of the hand shoulders leads price below the head. 